Hello YouTube. Welcome to another Weka tutorial. This tutorial is very important because in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how you can use semi-supervised learning algorithms with Weka. As you know already that Weka developed by University of Waikato doesn't have the implementation of semi-supervised learning algorithms. It only has the implementation of supervised and clustering algorithms. Now, if you were a machine learning person, then you might have known that nowadays semi-supervised learning algorithms are a popular choice because on many occasions you can have much uh, less number of labeled data. So whenever your data set is not labeled that much or it's very expensive to label data sets, in those cases semi-supervised learning can be a viable option. So Weka doesn't have it. Then how are we going to implement this in Weka? Well, we don't have to do it because as Weka is an open source software, there are many people currently working on developing semi-supervised learning algorithms in Java and then they integrate that with the Weka releases. So these are the files that I found after the extraction of, of uh, those five uh, RAR or ZIP files. So in this file you can find one folder called target, double click on that and you can see a jar file executable java archive file called collective-classification. All you need to do is double click on that. So this one is actually uh, opening or running or executing the Weka 3.7 version but integrated with semi-supervised learning algorithms. So this is Weka 3.7 plus semi-supervised learning algorithms. So how do they look like? If we go to the Explorer and I'm just randomly opening uh, one of my files uh, from my disk, actually th this doesn't matter, I'm just uh, giving you some demo. So I'm choosing one of the R files that I've produced in my research. I can go to, I can click on the classify tab, go to the classifier uh, options and then you can see that we have a new folder called collective. So this folder actually contains all the semi-supervised learning algorithms implemented by that group uh, in Java and it has been integrated with Weka 3.7. So if you double click on that to uh, open, so you can see there are subfolders. That means that we are having semi-supervised learning, algorith learning algorithms that can be categorized into these four groups, functions, lazy, meta, and trees. So if I close this tree, you can, you can see that there are functions, lazy, meta, and tree here as well but these are the supervised or clustering algorithms produced by the University of Weka, sorry, University of Waikato version of Weka. So if you go to the collective section, if you choose, uh, for example, function, LLGC is a kind of semi-supervised learning algorithms. And semi-supervised learning algorithms, to be honest, are not as popular as supervised or classification sorry, clustering algorithms. So if you don't know what this algorithm does or how it works or what kind of data it handles, you can always select uh, this one, uh, LLGC or any other semi-supervised learning algorithms under the collective folder. Then you can left click on these options and you can see that we have uh, the more button and you can click on the more button to see how, wh what, it, what it is capable of doing and if you want to know more about some of the uh, some of the implementation details of the algorithms, then you can always go back to uh, the references provided by the authors here. For example, in order to know LLGC, you can always go back to this 2003 um, uh, paper that actually uh, talks about LLGC. So this is kind of fun. You can play it. Uh, play with it and you can find out the power of uh, uh, algorithms uh, categorized under semi-supervised